Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I want to teach you how to play the Geometry Dash 2.1 It's the song called Finger Dash I'll be teaching you my two most favourite themes in this song The first theme is going to be obviously the beginning of the song is super catchy, the intro theme and also after that I'm going to teach you the uh, one of the middle themes Okay, but anyway, before I teach you it, I'll show you uh, a preview of what you're going to learn today so you can just, I guess, know what to expect, okay? So, uh, the intro theme goes like this. Here's a preview. Let me see. Okay, it goes like this. And you repeat that. That's the intro theme I want to teach you, and then after the intro theme I teach you, I'll be teaching you the other theme, which is the middle theme. It goes like this. Here's a preview of that one. Okay. And it repeats. So those are the two themes that you're going to learn today. So if you already know uh, what I just played by just looking at the keys, then good job, fantastic. But now I'm just going to teach you thoroughly of how to play it, separate hands and then hands together and all this kind of stuff, the chords and stuff, okay? But anyway, let's go ahead and start the intro theme. The intro theme, it starts like, let's do the right hand first. The first part goes high B, so middle C is here, another B, C, so the B up here, okay? So it goes B and then down to the two E's. Back up to the E, B, I mean, and then back down to the E, and then up to the B twice, and then back down to the E, and then back up to the B, and then down to D. And just like that, okay? So the first part, you can see the right hand is just like a lot of like ups and downs from the B to the low E, okay? So one more time, so it goes like this B, two E, B, uh, okay, so two E's, I mean, <laughs> it rhymes, okay? And back up to the B, and then back down to the E. And two B's, and then back down to the E, and up to B, D, like that, okay? So, is only this B and E, okay? So we didn't have to really know that it goes up and down, you just know these are the two uh, notes that we cycle for the first part, okay? So one more time, like this, okay? B, E, E, B, E, B, B, E, B, D, like that, okay, with the rhythm. Like that, okay? So one is faster. So. Like that, okay? So yeah, that's pretty much it. Or you can count in double time, you can do like. Like that, just to secure the rhythm if you want. But anyway, that's the right hand for the first part. Left hand, we have three chords for this first part. It's uh, E minor, E, G, B. And then it's C major, which is C, E, G followed by D major, which is D, F sharp, A, okay? So these are the three chords, and these are actually only the three chords for this whole intro part, okay? And that's the only three chords you have to know for this intro part, okay? So E minor, C major, and D major. So remember these three chords, because actually later on we reuse these three chords as well. But this pretty much, this whole song is actually made up of these three chords cycled in a particular order. But anyway, yeah, those are the three chords, remember that, and let's put our two hands together, now like this, B and E minor together. The next B and C major together. B and D major together. Like that, okay? One more time, so it goes like this. Together, two, three. Together, together, like that. Okay, one is faster. Like that, okay? So that's the first part, okay, of the intro theme, okay? Now moving on to the second part and pretty much the last part before we repeat it. Right hand goes. E, E, up to A, G, down to the D, and then back up to the G, and then A, G, F sharp, like that, okay? So just like that for the right hand for the second part, okay? So one more time, goes like this, E, E, A, G, D, and then G, A, G is actually triplet, so G, A, G, F sharp, like that, okay? Okay, and that's pretty much it, okay? Left hand, same three chords as the first part, as I said before, so it's just E minor, and then it goes to... C major, and then it goes to D major, that you know already, okay? So with these three chords uh, deeply in 
embed it in your mind and so you don't really have to look at it so much. Just memorize it and try to like, I guess, play it without looking for the chords so you can focus on the right hand jumping around, okay? But that's a bit more complicated, okay? So, um, yeah, the two hands together for the second part goes like this, E and E minor together. G and C major together. F sharp and D major together. Like that, just like that. Okay, one more time, it goes like this, together. Together, together, like that. And that's pretty much it, okay? So that's the second part. So putting the first and second part together, uh, it just goes like this. And then second part. And then you just repeat the whole thing. like that and that's it okay so that's the intro theme you can repeat it for as many times because the good thing about these three chords it's actually you can just kind of repeat it indefinitely you can just repeat it infinite amount of times if you want but anyway that's the intro theme the other theme I want to teach you today uh, okay let's teach you the middle theme it goes like this the first part of this middle theme goes like this it starts on the G E and then it goes G F sharp E E D and then G E and then it goes G, A, D, like that, okay? That's the first part, okay? One more time, it goes like this. G, E, G, F sharp, E, E, D, G, E, and then G, A, D, like that. That's the first part for the right hand. So, with the rhythm, it goes like this. Like that, okay? You can hear the last three notes is actually syncopated, okay? One more time, so like... Okay, that's the only complicated part. But anyway, that's the right hand for the first part, I guess. Left hand, super easy, it's just four E minor chords. So E minor, you know already, E, G, B. Just play for four times, two, three, four, okay? So with those uh, chords in mind, let's go ahead and put the two hands together for this, um, uh, this first part of this middle theme, okay? So G and E minor together. After E, G, E minor by itself. And right after, G, F sharp, E, E, D. After D, E minor by itself. G, E, and then E minor by itself. And then right after, G, E. So those are the chord placements, but with the proper rhythm, it's kind of more difficult because like it's all these syncopated stuff. Okay, so again, like this, together, here, here, like that. Okay, it'll be even easier if you, I guess, count with your thumb on the left hand. Just tap one, two, three, four, like that. So you're counting in four. So it's like this. So yeah, so three, four, like that, and it will help you to kind of like count better later on if you're just doing like individual block chords like that. But anyway, yeah, that's the first part. So the only thing hard about it is just the syncopated rhythm on the right hand, the melody. But anyway, moving on to the second and pretty much the last part before it repeats again. Right hand goes like this, G, E, and then G, F sharp, D, and then triplets of G, 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 F sharp, G, D, like that, okay? So that's the right hand for the second part. One more time, so it goes G, E, G, F sharp, D, G, 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 F sharp, G, D, like that for the right hand, okay? So that's the right hand for the second part. And the left hand has four chords, it's C major, C, E, G, for three times, second, third, and then the fourth chord is D major, which is D, F sharp, and A, okay? So those are the four chords, so C major, C major, C major, D major. With that in mind, let's go ahead and again, get us, put the two hands together. It goes like this, C major by itself, right hand comes in, C major by itself, right hand comes in, G and C major together, F sharp and D major together. Like that, okay? So... One more time, goes like this, here, here, together, together, like that. So rhythm is pretty important as well, so it's like... A lot of kind of like um, triplet kind of feel rhythm and also syncopated rhythm. So it's, it is hard, but listen to original and just learn how to count properly and it'll be all good because I taught you all the notes and all the chords as well, so... That's pretty much it. And after that, just repeat the first and second part of this middle theme, and like for two times in total. So three, four. Yeah, 
yeah, just like that, okay? So check out my cover. I did a full cover of this song, including all the improvisations. I made it a lot harder. Maybe you can get some inspiration on what to do for your improvisations. Like, improvisations are just like stuff that I make up right on the spot, and this makes the arrangement a lot more fuller, right on the spot. So every single time I do it, it's different, okay? So for example, what I taught you in this lesson is the two themes, so you can do something like this. cool stuff okay so more like bass stuff like in my opinion these kind of songs I add a lot of bass so like octave bass so you just kind of do it very low on the piano like octave like octave and then do a chord like that so like this you can do that as well okay but whatever you like and whatever it sounds like I guess nice to you is up to you because that's how improvisation is you can just uh, tailor it to your own personal preferences you can even make it like a really like sad version you can like So it's different every single time, that's why like improvisation is pretty awesome like that. But anyway, as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and check out all my, my courses if you want to learn about improvisation or all this kind of awesome stuff. And as for now, yeah, enjoy your time around my channel, check out my other Geometry Dash uh, piano covers. And yeah, I guess for now, see you next time. Hello guys, as a reward for watching my video right to the end, here is what I have for you. If you want to learn how I can play any song in the world, including this one in this video within 10 to 20 minutes just by listening, then click the first link in the description below to preview my Ear Mastery book for free. Click the second link for my beginner's course if you are completely new to the piano and don't know where to start. Click the third link for my library of popular full song video lessons membership. Or click the fourth link for my paid piano request and full song tutorial service if you want me to personally play any song for you or make a full song tutorial for you. And finally, if you are a sheet music learner who wants to learn a specific song or arrangement where the sheet music is not available anywhere in the world, then click the fifth link for my sheet music transcription service where I will personally write it out for you. As for now, like this video, subscribe, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time.